Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Thank you very much for watching. Keep your questions coming. Uh, today, this video is inspired by a conversation, an actual face-to-face -face conversation. I know in the age of social media, that's hard to fathom. But yes, I had a face-to-face -face convo with someone today who stopped by one of my clinics, um, a CRA, believe it or not, and this person uh, wants to start their own site eventually and we got into a discussion about hey never rely on one PI because most of the time your first PI that you find to do studies with for your research clinic is gonna end up leaving and yes there's people there's stories you're gonna find people who have been with the same PI for years but there's something about being that first PI where they have like high expectations for what research is. You have high expectations for what research is. However, the reality doesn't match up to those expectations because you're a startup, okay? And things are always, always going to go une unexpectedly in a startup. That's just the one thing you can count on is that things will not go the way you think they will. Okay, so... I've seen it happen so many times at my own sites, at sites with clients, where they find a PI, the site gets comfortable, they don't, they, they stop looking for more PIs, and eventually that PI gets fed up with the research, could be because money, the money is not what they expected initially, could be because the, the workload, um, even though they have study coordinators and a team in place, um, is too much for the PI to handle. The PI doesn't like the research. The PI, uh, another option is the PI decides they can do this on their own and leave. So I titled this video, Your PI is Going to Leave You, right? Because you should never depend, if you're a research site owner, you should never depend on one PI. Now, if you are a PI that owns your own site, um, you know, you may want to leave yourself at some point. And what I mean by that is you may not want to be the PI of all your studies. So you're going to be in the same situation as someone who's not a PI. You're going to need to go find PIs as well. So that puts you back to square one. You need to recruit doctors for your site. So just always keep that in mind. Um, chances are, just assume that the first PI you partner with, you may have three to six months, maybe a little longer with them, but they're eventually going to leave, either start their own clinic, um, they'll decide research is not for them, they'll, just a number of things, okay, so just go into it expecting that your first PI that you partner with is going to leave, unless they're a family member or something like that where you have different circumstances and situations, but that's the, the title for this video, and the lesson here is never get too dependent on one PI. For your research clinic because if they decide to leave or if they get hit by a bus or a train okay like they may not even want to leave so an accident could happen people get sick people die you know you don't want to be dependent on one pi right short and sweet thank you guru nation talk to you soon if you need help starting your own research clinic give me a call or text 949-415-6256 and i'll talk to you all later bye bye